What's up YouTube, Vagabond Bills coming at you today with a 2022 GMC Yukon Denali. Top of the line, bells and whistles, fully loaded. And we're gonna be doing a review of the exterior, interior, and some specs about this car. But before we do, please subscribe to our channel, like the video. If you do have a car you want us to review, here's our email, email us. We could talk details a little bit after. And a special, special shout out here at Reliable Cadillac GMC and Buick at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California in the greater Sacramento area. Let's go ahead and start. So starting off on the front end of this sweet GMC Yukon Denali, this grill is huge. GMC is big across metallic silver color. Very cool with that kind of rectangular shape on the grill all over the place big very cool new front end on these cars illuminated gmc sign dropping down you got your standard bumper sensors very nice color it's summit white color on this car now you do have the lower bumper cover finishing off with the metallic silver trim piece on the lower grill you have that kind of plastic matte plastic uh, grill integrated into the bumper now take into consideration it is more durable heavy duty plastic so in the long run this can take a beating being towards uh, the lower end of the car same goes with here you kind of have that lower trim or valence pieces down where they get the more beatings from the rock ch rocks and all that good stuff led precision lighting on these front uh, front headlights daytime running light bars beautiful right parentheses on the jmc that's pretty cool right but you have the led fogs with that black gloss bezel right over and the metallic silver trim piece coming over to the side of the car now you kind of have your side marker integrated into the bumper cover you will see certain suvs this integrated into the headlight or not but Look, right here on the side of the headlight, you have GMC integrated on the internal part of the headlight with that design, adding a whole lot of character, black gloss housing on that headlight. Super cool. Continuing with the rims, 22 inch Denali special rims with the lock on it. Now these are gonna be different due to certain packages. These are the Denali GMC center caps. Now, a little bit about the suspension. You have the active air suspension with the active uh, air dampers to make the ride a whole lot more luxurious and a better feel. Up top on the back side of this fender, you have the GMC black glossy trim stamp here with the metallic silver trim stamped on the back side of this fender. Very nice cuts in the body of this car. Denali imprinted on the front side of this door. Nice little trim piece, not too big. You don't want it like taking away from the body, but a very nice accent, metallic silver. This is kind of a chrome silver. Side mirror, got the Summit White with the black gloss trim on the bottom side of the mirror with integrated marker lighting. Now this is one of those mirrors that are just fully loaded with your uh, active lighting where you can kind of uh, proximity and the light turns on with your 360 cameras. It is the dimmable lane assist. Um, blind spot assist uh, mirrors, which is cool. They are automatic electrical mirrors. Dropping down to the bottom side of the car, you do have the step pads. Now, I wanna open this door and show you guys. As I open this door, that step pad comes out, and I want you guys to pay attention that it kind of becomes part of that lower rocker panel piece. Now, it isn't uh, fully the rocker panel, but you do have it kind of tucking in uh, giving it that kind of simple minimalist, minimalist look. The rocker panel is a black matte plastic like the front trim to take the beating along with the bottom side of that uh, running board. Very cool. Two-tone handle, the Summit White keyless entry. You do have a remote start on this car with that chrome trim around that handle. Very rich, elegant feel, chrome around the windows with that black gloss to match the rest of the trim. Now, again, guys, it is the Denali, so you're gonna get kind of that elegance, the rich feel high class on this SUV, top of the line chrome here. You get that chrome up top or that metallic silver up top on the rails. Back window, you don't get much trim on the back window, but up top, you don't have the trim coming down but finishing off that back quarter panel with that black gloss uh, corner piece. You have your pushable lid, no more gas 
caps, big fan of that. And LED tail lighting, very cool. Kind of comes in to the tailgate. Take that into consideration, very cool design. Yukon stamp here with that metallic silver kind of chromish look trim with the GMC emblem padded onto that silver trim. Spoiler with the tail light integrated. Now this does have the backup camera and all that good stuff, pedestrian assist. So if somebody is walking behind your car, it will shake your seat and let you know, hey, there's somebody. Check out the cameras right there. They're integrated. Little bit of silver, metallic silver trim piece with that matte plastic that I was telling you on the side and the front of the SUV kind of takes that beating. Now you can Tow package, there is a cover over the tow package, but it is very nice to have a tow package on these SUVs because you can tow your boats or jet skis or whatever you with them. Quad exhaust tips, nice silver quad exhaust tips. So pretty cool, sporty looking. Red markers integrated into the lower part of that back bumper. Denali on the passenger side stamped on here, letting you know which package it is. Let's go ahead and enter the trunk space now i was going to press the button but i just remembered it does have keyless entry nope let's go again there you go lights blink self-assist very convenient if your hands are full you got your purse or the kids or whatever in your hand you got your sport gear i don't know what you're gonna silver kick plate very nice brown interior on this car personal space by the lifting of this mat a little bit of hooks right left up here up top now something that is very cool being a three-seater car you have the electric buttons very convenient i'm a huge fan of this check this out it just drops down and i kind of left that second row seating down so you can kind of see how it connects on the same level so if you want to put a um, maybe an inflatable mattress you're taking it camping or something you do have uh extra accessories that you can buy for this car and fill in that little center aisle way. Put a mattress in there and sleep. Let's go ahead and push this back up. This is so convenient. I'm a huge fan of these electric buttons, but pretty simple, straight to the point on the trunk space. Let's go ahead and close this. Now you do have the button and you have the uh, keyless close by the kick, lights blink, and the tailgate shuts. So we're pretty much done with the exterior of this car. Let's go ahead and head on over to the interior. So coming into this beautiful Yukon Denali GMC, what do we see is just that rich look. Now let's start off with the door panel. Beautiful two-tone color. You got that kind of nice light cream with that more tan brown look. Look at the stitching, those nice little X's. You do have the regular stitching that you see in all standard cars, but being a Denali, beautiful stitching, giving you that rich, elegant feel. A little bit of nice silver trim. Bose premium sound integrated into this car, so you're gonna get a nice beat, nice thump. Typical control unit for your windows, side mirrors, unlock and lock. And very nice that I want you guys to pay attention to is the wooden grain trim that you see inserted on these door panels, and we're gonna be seeing it around the interior of the car. Let's go ahead and jump in. Denali kick plate with the door sill uh, emblem right there, letting you know that it is a Denali package. Very comfortable seats. These do come lumbar support and lumbar uh, adjustable. Very nice on the, on the uh, right and left. So both front seats get heated, cold seats, and you can control the adjustable lumbar support. I'm a big fan because being tall, you get that lower back pain. Denali stitched into the seat, but look at the character of this nice bucket seat, perforated leather with that nice texture leather and kind of a uh, tannish, br grayish brown, beautiful uh, insert on that lining with that stitching that I was talking about. Very cool, breathe that in, it is beautiful on this Denali. You got your steering wheel in that more darker tan brown color, Denali in the middle with some uh, metallic silver and texture on this little trim piece. Of course, your standard buttons to control that front cluster. That front cluster is not going to be fully digital. It is a um, part digital with your manual tachometers. Standard um, rod here for your windshield wipers. Now this does have a variable speed windshield wiper sensor. Can control that from here. On the left, this is a lot going on on your control units. 
you have your lane assist buttons, your decline assist button on this SUV, parking buttons, traction control, if you wanna put it into two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four high, four low, lighting all over here in trailer brake, you are gonna to be towing with this if you do have trailers. Super cool, parking brake here. Now, a lot going on over here. It is a, this is a four by four, so my best advice to anybody is get that four by four because you're not going to regret it. Let's go ahead and turn on the car. Beautiful entertainment, infotainment center. GMC pops up. You got your radio on. It is touch sensitive, so let's go home. Audio phone, it does have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, all that good stuff all right here. Navigation system, beautiful big screen with that metallic silver trim with the wood on the right and the left. Check out the parking buttons, no longer the parking shift knob, so they got rid of that, making it more of a simple, minimalist look, and they integrate it into the dashboard. Buttons, very cool, you just pull over to your left, and that switches. Check out the cluster. You got the, you can go through your info cards, just like that and see what's going on, settings and all that good stuff. Tinker around with it if you're looking to buy this. Very nice stitching on the leather of the dashboard. Very cool with a little bit of metallic silver trim. Heads up display so the driver doesn't have to look down. They see the miles per hour, signs, pretty very nice option to have on these cars. You got your Bose sound integrated into the dashboard on the right, left, and in the middle. Super cool. Coming over to the center console, that nice wood grain look, that dark, very um, rich feel, metallic silver little handles. Now by the push, you open both of those up just like that, and it opens up to you some cubby space. You have your wireless charging pad for your phone, USB-C, USB-A hookup, along with your 12 volt plug-in, so you're not fighting over for plugs and USB ports. Cup holders big and deep, so your cups aren't toppling over. That nice silver metallic textured feel with that design in it to match the steering wheel is on the center console. Very nice light cream with that kind of off a gray brownish stitching. Very rich, elegant look. Black gloss trim. Now, take into consideration if you got oil on your hands, it's gonna be a little bit higher maintenance, but you got your manual zone heating and air controls here. So you do have that dual zone here up in the front cooled and heated seats buttons rear climate you're going to get that tri-zone heating climate or the four zone heating climate in this car it is beautiful let's go home you can control this if the touch sensitive instead of you pushing on your screen you can control it right here with your manual control panel standard glove compartment just like every other car coming up to the top you have your rear view mirror now you can put this in manual mode or you can put it as a camera and you can control that. So check that out manual and then goes into the camera and you can set at what level you want that camera or how much it zooms in or out. Rain sensor here up top by the rear view mirror. Coming over to this control unit up top on this panoramic glass for the sake of the video and the time, it does have a tilt and slide option over to the second row. So that second row is getting that experience of seeing outside. Now, another cool thing is, check this out. Movable center console opens up to you a little bit more space, hiding that cubby right here by the lifting of that lever. And if you have something more personal, you can just drop that in, close that, and then close that center console. The other buttons here are to control the sun visor. You know, you got your house controls and all that good stuff if you wanna cut out the Wi-Fi by the button down low. And you can open the rear tailgate and drop the back seats by the buttons here. So that's a very cool option to have. So it is very convenient just sitting in the seat. You can control a lot in this car. But we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and head over to the second and third row. Continuing with the second and third row of this Yukon Denali, back of the center council, you have the USB-C HDMI plugins, control for the temperature right here and the flow of the temperature. You could set your modes get a 110 plug-in right here and take into consideration that when this center council does electri electrically come back, it makes it more convenient to reach out of the seat. So you don't have to kind of bend over to get to those buttons and controls. 
A lot of leg room on this second row. Very cool head clearance of about six feet, two inches. You got that pass through seating. So you have that aisleway, easy access to that third row. Armrest on these seats and the door panels match the front very nice. A lot of times coming from those front door panels over to the back, they simplify those door panels, but this door panel keeps that same rich, elegant feel with the same colors and the same inserts from the front over to the back. Bose integrated speakers, again, a lot of room, mid door and bottom of the door. Personal pouches, like on almost every standard car. Entertainment center, so if you want your guests or your kids to zip it or shh.com, you want to hook up something with HDMI or the USB-C and put some movies on and let them go at it. Let's go ahead and head over to the third row seat. A lot of leg room. Now, a lot of times you're gonna cut back on a lot of room coming over to these third row seats, but nice good head clearance. It does kind of drop down a little bit and I'm hitting that, but take into consideration if you do put the kiddos back here, they're not gonna be hitting their heads. Back seats are kind of tilted up, so take that into consideration. USB-C plugins right and left so nobody's fighting over their ports and cup holders. Everybody has them. Now, something I wanna show you that's pretty cool, by the push of this button, the third row seat, let me just show you, pull that up, this bunny hops forward, just like that. And then you could also pull this belt here and bunny hop that seat so you get a whole lot more access coming into that third row seating. You can control these seats right here on the side by these levers. Now this front lever will move the seat forward and back and this pops the angle up, well pops it open just like that. But if I put that seat up, this lever drops that angle of that second seat. Let me show you guys, just like that and it makes it a whole lot more comfortable when you're doing a longer road trip, get that angle on the lower back. Car seats, you can put them, you can put them on these uh, two seats, very cool. And again, that rich perforated leather look with the stitching on the second row and the third row to match the rest. So we're pretty much done with the interior of this car. Let's go ahead and talk specs. So some specs about this Yukon Denali and the motor. It is a 6.2 liter V8 engine. Horsepower, 420 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. This particular model does come the four-wheel drive or four by four, and it comes with the 10-speed automatic transmission, electronic rear diff, towing capacity, 7,500 pounds to about 7,700 pounds, and a little bit of MPG. You get 14 city and 19 highway, and your tank size is about 28 gallons. So guys, we're pretty much done with the review of this Yukon Denali. Any questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Please subscribe and like the video. And thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds.